What's up, YouTube? I haven't made a video in a while, so I decided I'd make a new one. And I might start making videos on a regular basis as well. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace Task Manager with Process Explorer. And for those of you who have actually seen and used Process Explorer, you're probably saying, wow, all you have to do is click Options and then click Replace Task Manager. But the thing is, when you do that, it won't run in admin mode when you start it from the taskbar or control delete menu. So it's almost useless compared to the original task manager because you know you can't close everything that you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a method that I figured out that will work in admin mode. If you haven't seen Process Explorer, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you it. It's basically um, task manager on ultra steroids. It's got a whole bunch of really cool features. You can look at properties, in-depth properties about all the processes, uh, like where they're located and such. Uh, um, this is probably the like the selling point for me. This little crosshair, you can click it and drag it, and if you don't know what a program is or a window and you want to figure out what uh, process it is, you can drag it over a window and it'll like create a square around it and let it go and it'll highlight that uh, process in the process explorer window so that's I don't know that's just really cool to me anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to replace task manager with that kick-ass program so the first thing you're going to do is obviously back up uh, the original task manager just in case you want to um, revert back to the original one so to do that you just gotta create a program, uh, um, not a program, um, a uh, folder in your documents or wherever the hell you want or you know uh, if you have a, a place where you back up files already you can just back it up there just um, I created one called backup system files just go into system 32 and find task MGR and move it over to your backup location and okay so that's backed up so now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is take the process explorer folder that you extracted from the zip that you downloaded and just move it to program files uh... this just makes it more convenient to find and such you know it's just it's just easier to find that's all uh... and then after you do that you're gonna wanna install elevate what Elevate does is adds, um, uh, get the hell out of here, Peanut, get away, go away. Anyway, what Elevate does is uh, adds commands to command prompt, um, you know, that let you elevate commands, in other words, let, let you run it in admin mode. So therefore you can actually launch programs uh, as an admin, like, easily it's it's pretty cool it's a really useful tool so to install it all you have to do is move it to windows the windows folder and um, if you're on 32-bit or 64-bit this will work on both but if you have to if you really want to if you're on 64-bit you can use that one but I'm on 64-bit I'm just gonna go ahead and use this um, so yeah now that that's installed just go back and uh, go to the desktop and create a batch file. Just this is how I do it. I just create a text document, and in the uh, batch file, you're going to want to type elevate quotation marks c program files slash um, process explorer slash process xp dot exe and then quotation marks file save as make sure you change this instead of text documents you want it to be all files then put dot bat behind the the name of the file and then uh, click save then it'll create a batch file let's make sure this works and then it'll ask you to run and then there you go this is actually in administrator mode so what you're gonna want to do is make this into an exe called task manager. Ah, you see where I'm going now, don't you? Um, so open bat to exe converter and um, here, I think I could just drag this in here. Oh, no, I can't. Damn it. And then, uh, you know, just go to it. And 
compile and then there you go rename it task mgr and then go to system 32 and then that should be it so there you go and actually what you're going to want to do is uncheck that right there so it's just you know streamlined and if you're on Vista 7 uh, it you know if you're like me that user account control bullshit gets on your nerves pardon my language so you're going to disable that too but you know now you have a awesome control you know awesome uh, task manager so yeah there you go thanks for watching